welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel today i am showing you my tattoos that i got over the span of a few days i feel like i'm always sick when i'm filming but yes i am sick and that is why i sound like this <laughs> said every youtuber ever but basically while i was in brighton i my cat died and I did not take that very well, hence why I haven't been here for like a month. But I'm back at a moderately stable level of mental health. No, I'm kidding. I'm actually fine. I'm I'm not fine. I'm I'm coping. That is what I was looking for. That is that is what I'm doing. I am healing. I'm coping. I'm trying my best, and that is all I can ask myself for. But anyway, um, deep start to this video but then again tattoos actually are deep in this video well two of them are and I usually never get tattoos with like a meaning to them so this is very exciting and unusual for me so I thought why not make a video and show you guys my little new tattoos with meaning and also the sweater I am wearing social media isn't reality is my new merch <laughs> isn't she cute yes so super soft on the inside these will be out in a few weeks i will make an announcement so don't you worry stay tuned for that the first tattoo i got i completely forgot to film while i was getting this until like the last minute so i did take some like little quick videos but for my story it is one of the beginning lyrics of the 1975 song i always want to die sometimes i know sounds like a really dark and deep thing because it is but yes as you can decipher that song is about unaliving i got a tattoo about unaliving kind of yes it was more of a tribute to my depression and all of the mental health struggles that i have been through because there's been so many significant moments in my life where i have been on a train <laughs> and been listening to that song and I was just like damn it always comes back to this point in my life where I'm at like what feels like rock bottom to me but I always end up getting out of it so in a way it is like a tribute to my depression and sadness but at the same time it's kind of a reminder that I will get out of it anyway and eventually everything will go back to a level which I don't feel that depressed and yeah it's kind of a sweet reminder to that and like an ode to all the horrible things in my life that have happened that have led me to feel those feelings because I'm a person who has struggled with a lot of that throughout my life and I, I don't know, wanted to get a tribute for it. So that is probably the most deep um, tattoo that I have now. Hectic. Weird. And yeah, never thought I'd get a tattoo for it but I don't know something about the lyrics I was like yeah I, I want that on me but it was like I thought about it for a long time rather than just impulsively getting it which I do <laughs> a lot so yes that was that tattoo I am in love with it and I love that it's facing me because I want to see it and I'm super excited to be wearing shorts or whatever at that length that I can see it while I'm sat on a train and be like eh. And yeah, and see what point of my life I am at at that point and what I'm feeling. I don't know. It's an exciting, wholesome, grounding reminder, I guess, that emotions come and go. The ebb and flow of emotional states do occur. So very cool. The tattoo of You're Sat on a Train Again is done by Patrick, European Sun 420. Go check him out. I have a lot of tattoos by him. I have these two and then the you and you'll be okay on my thigh. Amazing artist, amazing vibes every time I go to the studio at All Right Tattoo in Brighton, so highly recommend. The second deep tattoo that I got. So my cat recently passed away and I am sure you guys saw that if you follow me on Instagram because that's like, I've been posting about it a lot because he meant the world to me. He is my first pet that has like been with me for majority of my life for 17 years of it so yeah that was a tough one and it hit me hard and I knew he would pass away soon because he was at an old age and his physical health wasn't the best and I knew it was time to let go and say goodbye soon so 
It didn't come as a complete shock, but I mean, you're never ready to say goodbye to your fur babies. Okay, enough talking. Here is the little behind the scenes of me getting tattooed. My stinky little ninja baby is going to be with me forever, and that's really nice and sentimental to me. It is beautiful. It looks just like him, honestly, and I also love that I can see it whenever I sit down. And this tattoo was done by Love Rat Tattoo. He is absolutely amazing and so lovely. Again, also such a kind person. I highly recommend going to him if you want any kind of traditional or animal-themed tattoos. And then... I got two other tattoos by Amy. She was so lovely. I've been following her for quite a while on Instagram and it was so nice to meet her in person. She is generally one of the sweetest people I've ever met and been tattooed by. She tattoos so gently, made sure everything was okay, that I was like fine. She, I don't know, like she just made me feel extra comfortable and wholesome throughout the whole session and I highly recommend going to Amy if you are someone who is very shy or I don't know, want some like extra reassurance while getting tattooed because she is absolutely amazing for that. Like, yeah, just explaining every little bit that we went through and allowing me to video and helping me set up my phone so that I could put on time lapses and everything that was very sweet. So thank you so much. also got the ants by Amy. She was like, would you like some ants? You want to join the ant club? And I was like, obviously I do. So I got some ants by her. Yes. <laughs> I'm in the middle of packing for tomorrow, but Amy is literally the cutest ever because she wanted to give me stickers, but she gave me one of the cards from her Valentine's Day flash because she still had one. And <laughs> it's so sweet and cute. I am all for little gestures like this, like book with her right now, right now. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing my little mini tattoo tour of my new tattoos that I got impulsively, but not so impulsively. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please give it a like if you like this video and go check out all the artists. I will leave their details down in the description box below. Yeah, thanks. Bye.